so hi, um, I haven't made a video in a really long time, and I have made some, uh, about like a week ago, about that, like a week and a half ago, but then stuff happened, so I never got to posting it, and yeah, that has never happened. So yeah, what happened was that my bunny got sick, basically, I'm gonna try and move where I am. Let's see if this works. Get the good light on me. So yeah, that kind of works. So my bunny got sick. Well, the one day I noticed that like her eyes looked like they were going back. So I was like, okay, that's not right or whatever. And we ended up making an appointment at the vet for her because she also wasn't like coming to me whenever I came to their cage and I, she usually would come to me. So we made her an appointment and my mom also talked to this one lady who like is real good with rabbits and everything and she was saying how she thought it was E. caniculi which is a parasite that's like in their kidneys and it comes alive whenever they have a weak immune system or when they're scared. So. Yeah, and we took her to the vet, and the vet said that that's what she thinks it is, but we didn't get tests done for it because the tests don't actually prove it, and it just wouldn't make any sense. So she just gave us the medicine for it, and she said it might work and it might not, so we took a chance to see if it worked or not. And also, like, one of the side effects for the par anti-parasite medicine was, like, sudden death. So we had to take a chance for that, which we did. So we treated her with the medicine for nearly a week, almost a week. And, and she seemed like she was getting better, actually. Like, she actually looked better, so that was, like, the kind of sad part. That, um, she looked better and everything. And, like, she started falling when she would walk. She would try and walk, and she would fall over. And my mom called the vet about it, and they said, like, it was when they were leaving for a long weekend, because this was near 4th of July, so they had a long weekend and everything, and they are closed. And the vet was, like, on her way out the door, so she was just saying, like, oh, sorry, like, we can't help you or anything like that. So she called the other lady who helped, and she said that she would come to our house and take her and see how she was and everything so she came to our house to get her and she ended up being really dehydrated because she stopped eating and drinking about two days before that or the day before that somewhere around there but she took her the night of July 3rd and she got her all hydrated and everything but it didn't really help her and she ended up passing on July 4th so, that's what happened there. So she ended up passing from renal failure due to the parasite. And, yeah, it was sad. So, she ended up passing in a lady's care. Like, the lady actually felt her body shut down. And we ended up getting her later in the day. And she gave her to us in the basket. So I ended up, like, petting her and holding her in the basket and everything. Until we ended up burying her. So yeah, all of that. So yeah, that's really all what happened though. So it was sad, but I have like this necklace thing. It's actually like a watch thing, but I put her picture in it. So it was like me and her in it. She can't even see, but she's like right there. She was a Holland Lop, and she was four years old. So she wasn't even that old either. But it was actually sad. But how she passed, the medicine actually made her feel better, but the parasite got to her. So basically, the parasite got to her, but she didn't feel any pain or anything. So that's how she ended up passing and everything. And yeah. I'll make another video of stuff that happened afterwards and whatever, like, my decisions after that. But, 
that's basically how she ended up getting sick and passing. So apparently, like, something that happened around a month before that ended up scaring her and caused the parasite to come on. And we don't know what scared her because we couldn't really think of anything. But yeah, she ended up having, like, a week worth of medicine after that. So we ended up donating, and you can see they gave us like a thank you letter because we donated the rest of her medicine since she still had like a week left. She only survived being sick for a week. Yeah, but there's also like pictures on my wall of her now, and they sent like a condolence card about how they're sorry about her and stuff. So did my grandmother, but she has her cards on there too. And I went to a craft store near here, and we bought this like stone stepstone kit thing. And I ended up making it and putting her name in it and the date that she passed. And I made a grave out in our backyard. And I planted flowers around it to border it, but they aren't really growing right now. I'm hoping that they're gonna come in soon. So. I made a little grave, but it's on, like, the complete other end of our property, so I have to walk a little bit to get there. And I usually go there when it's, like, 10, so it's usually, like, real late. Now that's basically what happened to Rufy, so, yeah. I miss her. I wish it did not happen, but I couldn't really stop it. We tried as much as we could to help. So, yeah, that's all what happened with my bunny. And, yeah, that's all I actually said. I didn't think she'd really go that fast, but I, and I thought I would make it. Well, my whole family thought she would make it because of how the medicines were working and everything. But I guess it didn't work, so, yeah. But I still go down to a grave and stuff and hang out there every day, so, yeah. That's basically what happened to my bunny. So yeah, she passed 9.45 a.m. July 4th, 2014. So yeah, I miss her and heart to her. I always wear this. I usually wear her scarf around my wrist too, but I take it off whenever I do certain things. Just so it doesn't get messed up or whatever. But yeah, that's basically it. And I'll make another video later. So bye.